Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com and uh, this is my Samsung Galaxy S2 and after having it for a year I still love this phone but um, I've had to upgrade it to the stock ICS ROM from Samsung and I wasn't really happy with it mainly because of TouchWiz. I'm sorry, I'm not a big TouchWiz fan. So what I'm using right now is called Slim ICS, a super small and fast uh, custom ICS ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 and I'm using the Apex launcher that gives you yeah, kind of this look and feel of uh, the stock ICS vanilla experience as you can see. It's blazingly fast and what I'm going to show you right now is how to root your device, how to get the clockwork mod recovery on there and finally how to get a slim ICS on your Samsung Galaxy S2. So let's take a look. So to prepare your phone for the root and the custom ROM flash, first what you have to do is you need to switch on the USB debugging mode. There we go. Under settings and under developers options, switch on the USB debugging mode. And then of course you need a cable to connect it to your PC, USB to micro USB, and then you need a bunch of files. And actually what we did here underneath our video, there's a link to my public Dropbox and you can download this whole file package. What we have over here, just to give you a little idea, is first of all, that's um, this little root package that also installs the Clockwork Mod Recovery onto your Galaxy S2. Over here we have the base files for Slim ICS. These are the Google apps for CyanogenMod. These are the essentials for the Slim ICS. We need Odin, the one over here. And finally, we have the nightly build of April the 19th of the Cyanogen Mod 9. And I'm going to show you now how to flash this onto your device. Okay, here we go. You know what, guys? Just make sure that you have the uh, GTI 9100 GSM. So this isn't about all these exotic versions that are out there, because this uh, root package with the clockwork mod recovery only works for the GTI 9100 GSM version. If you have a different one, you're going to try it and you're going to break your device. It's not my fault, I tell you. That. So here are all our files and what we need to do right now, we need to make sure that uh, the key software isn't running anymore in the background. Perfect, that's all set. So, and now we need to reboot our device into the download mode. I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so switch off your phone, power off. Yes, we want to power down. And then you need to do the three button method, process, whatever. Um, that means volume down, press the home button. Oh my God, that's not so easy. And then press the power button. Here we go. And now, see, volume up is continue. And now we're in the download mode. So what are you doing right now is, uh, we're opening our Odin. Mr. Odin, where are you? Here we go, there's Odin. And then we're connecting our phone with our PC. So it's installing the USB drivers. Here we go. The lights are green. And now we're going to PDA, just to double check it again. And then you just, okay, let's make this full screen. Oh no, and then press start. And as you can see, now it's writing this kernel. Looking good. So, succeed one, failed zero, our device is rooted and we have the clockwork mode recovery on there. And that's a solid. And now it's booting. Okay, let's go to the next step. Okay, we are almost there. What we have to do now after we have the root and the clock much recovery on here, we need to copy um, the files of the Slim ICS ROM and the essentials over to our S2. So therefore I connected it again to my PC and I'm opening the device right now and I'm going to my SD card here and then I'm just copying the files base and the I 9100 essentials over into the root directory of my SD card. 
So this takes a while. There we go. Dum de dum de dum de dum de dum. 25 seconds remaining. And then we are going to reboot the device. Well, first of all, unplug it and uh, power off. And then it's time to run some backups. I've been already running a backup and it's already stored, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Well, first of all, it's a three button method again. Um, so, but this time we are using volume up, home button and power on. Jesus. That looks so retarded. Here we go. Just keep pressing. <laughs> so here's the clockwork mode recovery. What we have to do right now is uh, we're running a backup and you just go into backup and then you press in the home button to confirm your choice and then you're just doing backup, right? And then it will run a backup. But I already did this, so I'm going back and pressing. Oh, actually. I'm running another backup right now. Jeez, that was the wrong button. But anyways, now you can see how it will look like when you're running a backup. We'll see you soon. Yay, we did a backup complete. So now it's time to uh, wipe the data and do a factory reset. That's what we're gonna do over here. Whoop. Yes, delete them all. So it's formatting the system right now. And then we also need to go to mounts and storage and go to format system, confirm this. Yes, that's all we want to do. And then it is time to finally get our Slim ICS on here. So you're going to install zip from SD card and uh, then we're going to choose zip from SD card. And here we go. There's the base.zip. And now, fingers crossed, this is going to work out. It will, guys. You see, it's actually recognizing our device right now. And this super slim and fast ICS ROM is on there. What we also need to do right now Get the essentials on there. Here we go. Yes. Install them. It's copying the new files. I'm not in the system. And we are almost there. That's about it. So, if everything went well, we should have a completely fancy schmancy new slim ICS system. Well, unfortunately, we're still getting this yellow triangle, but um, I think I'm going to do another video and show you how to get rid of this. Ooh, the slim bootloader. Looks very slim. <laughs> so, I tell you one thing. When you're rebooting your device with a new custom ROM, you know, don't get scared that it takes a while. This is only for the first boot. So this might take a minute or so. And uh, I guess I'm going to stop here and then I will be back as soon as the system booted up. And here we are. Let's uh, take a look. That's Slim ICS. Wow. I'm really getting some messages because I just got uh, connected my Google account to it. As you can see, right, it's. Uh, it's very fundamental, very basic. It's zippy. There are only a few apps pre-installed. So um, it's all about customizing your experience right now. It comes with a launcher that is called, uh, let me take a look, it's a Zeem launcher. Very basic one and you can uh, change your dock over here and uh, you can change your application grid. So if you want to use this as a base, maybe for an additional launcher, like the Apex, I think this is absolutely fantastic. A very minimal uh, system. What I would like to do is just, let's run a little Quadron standard benchmark on it. Maybe we can see something about the performance of this device right now. Of course, this is not getting overclocked or something. Um, but yeah, what I, what I like, and you see these uh, system icons over here on the top, 
So it's, it's kind of small, right? But it's not so annoying compared to um, the stock ROM from Samsung, where you have like really huge icons in all different colors. Over here, you can see a very small email icon, um, an, an update icon, but there are updates available for my applications, and there's a Google Talk icon. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of like this because, again, this is a, a basic and minimal ROM and I'm going to use, for example, um, the Apex launcher on top of it. But uh, let's see how this benchmark is working out. Um, this might still take a while until we are starting to head over to the graphics benchmarks. Again, this um, slim ICS ROM is only like a 50 MB big, plus the essential, these are like 30 MB, something like that. So uh, compared to um, the Samsung ROM, I think that was like, I mean, overall ICS is like 600 MBs or something. Anyways, guys, this takes a while. I'm going to be back as soon as the graphic ben benchmarks are starting. Okay, here we go. It's like around 60 frames a second. I'm not sure if there's any different from the stock ROM. Okay. And here comes this little world, 30 frames, 50 frames now, 34 frames again, the DNA, it's a DNA helix, isn't it? I'm not an expert in DNAs. So yes, of course, you want to proceed. Let's see, ooh, it only says 2500, but keep in mind that this is an updated uh, benchmark for Quadrant. Anyways, I still love this uh, ROM. Um, it's very minimal and on top of it I'm getting a new launcher. So this little how-to, how to get um, Slim ICS onto your Samsung Galaxy S2. I'm Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Right, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment, um, like our videos and definitely subscribe to our videos over here. Anyways, that's the Samsung Galaxy S2 with Slim ICS. I'm Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.